Hey guys, it's the girl K Day coming back out to you one more time. So I haven't done a video like this in a minute, but I right now it's the second day of fall. I want to say it's September twenty. I want to say September twenty first, September twenty second. Let me just make sure. I'm, I'm still wrong <laughs> i'm still wrong it's september 23rd oh my gosh so i want to do i want to start doing these videos more um y'all really don't care about me in my life y'all don't care about my vlogs enough i feel like some people care some people don't some people came here before i started doing housing stuff but at the time i was i didn't have that much subscribers at that time when i was doing those things and a lot of people came for housing let's be honest other people came for other reasons Y'all don't care about me. Y'all just y'all don't see my problems and see how I'm really living in life. Y'all don't care about me. I'm gonna do the other video on my phone because it's literally about like two minute video. But this video is about um other things coming up. So guys, let me just start off with this. Guys, like, comment, subscribe. If you like content like this based on housing, vouchers, things like that. Please check out your girl. I'm in a lot of different organizations where I work with housing and getting out vouchers and things like that for families and for people who are, who are homeless or in prevention measures. Basically, prevention it means so you don't have to go to shelter or have to move out where you are, kind of thing. So that's what I work in. If you don't see me, if you see also links for, um, I have a lot of different links links in my community tab. So I have two other channels, but I have technically three other channels, but one of them is. For work so i don't count that as my channel i have two other channels that i actually everything is in charge i am but i have another channel called hair of voices it's also a podcast it's on all the podcast like anchor spotify um apple is apple and spotify to say i don't i don't i don't i'm not into that but i just i do the anchor i record everything on anchor for my job and i get the information out there basically what i record on there is um homeless resources honestly if you want to get everything fast and like in a hurry more updated stuff follow us on twitter because twitter we put out job um job listings and things like that there's another job fair coming up in new york city i'm going to get it from some somebody who you know is out there and i'm going to be able to post that for you guys on here and also on twitter so if you want to get things that's updated all the time fast 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 twitter is your thing instagram we're kind of fast um on the podcast channel like I said, on the podcast, we give out resources and we tell people stories about homelessness. So on here, you mostly, not mainly you hear about my stories on here and how I went through the, the whole the shelter and the whole ordeal and me and my kid. Um, but on the podcast, we hear other people's stories, people who are Hispanic, people who are mostly, right now it's black and Hispanics. Um, if you don't know, the highest um, rate of people who are homeless in New York City are blacks and Hispanic than other. Um, so... It wouldn't be surprising that most of our guests on there are those people but honestly we can interview anybody who has um been in unhoused situation which is cow surfing on the street um in shelters if your family if it was you and your family so that's what we kind of um we go for at this point we're going to probably have other guests of other things soon but right now that's what we focus our thing on so mm. I feel like, I don't say news, but they don't be drinking on the news, do they? No, they don't. But they do a talk show, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I said I should be a host for a show. I'm like, if you only know. But I told them, I think, I think, I think they know I do YouTube. I'm not sure. Anyway. Um, so I went to a, a, a fair at the, a, the school the other day. And I'm, I got up these pamphlets. They're in. I have some in Spanish. Some in other languages. Um, probably a person who's Spanish is not going to come on my channel. Because they're not going to. First of all, I talk fast in general. So they're not going to understand me. Um, but I'm gonna probably take pictures of it and put those on Twitter for our um, on our Twitter account we try to do um, Hispanic most of it is English because I don't speak Spanish but the person we have on our team who just speaks Spanish she gets stuff anything I see was like flyers like this and is in Spanish I take pictures of oh, you have name on it my baby stuff I'm not gonna show y'all this look at it show y'all this um, it's a name anywhere else on here my baby stuff my foster daughter stuff. I need to get her, um, they said some people do like, um, books. They put their stuff in. I want to do that. I started one for KK so when she get older, she can have that book. Um, it's not, I feel like it's kind of morbid, but a lot, a lot of people have sketchbooks for their kids. So sketchbooks or whatever. It has nothing to do with anything right now. But I don't like when my daughter goes through my stuff because I have a lot of things where, you know, I have mementos. 
and I wanted to look at my drawer if she threw that away or not. Because I had this thing where you have her belly button thing. Probably should put it where her teeth are. Cause she, all right. My daughter's seven, so her teeth been falling out since like last year. So um, I put them in a Ziploc bag and I had to put them like far up so because she, she always want to see them. And I know her. She, I know her. She's very, you know, kids. They don't take care of nothing. When I was a kid, well, I should say all, all kids are not like that. I wasn't like that. I had my teeth in my bathroom until 20 something until somebody came out and cleaned them out and threw them away. Actually, maybe I should go back to the house just to make sure. I'm asking my brother if you go upstairs if you find my teeth. I want them. It's also crazy when I had my cataract surgery. I think I told them, but they didn't give me my, my eye stuff they took out. I'm like, I want to keep that. Every teeth I pulled, well, not every teeth I pulled, I have them still. I know that sounds right. That's not what you came here for. I went off on a tangent. But if you like this, guys, subscribe. Um, I don't just to talk about, I, I, I get off topic, but it's okay. I'm trying to give you the information. I know this, this beginning is long. Sorry. The people who don't like me talking long winded. Sorry. That's what I do. It's a vlog channel slash information channel. Um, so, this organization, what they do, worry, this says, worry about money. What are your, we are here to support you. Da, da, da. So, this is, um, Right, so this organization helps you. I want to say with, I don't say with student loan, but I know it helps you with money and stuff like that. I forgot what it. Honestly, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I had these papers weeks ago. I went to a, a fair for out of school, and I picked up information to give you guys. I gotta go call them about the insurance, so I have to call them because I'm gonna be doing one for insurance and things like that. And um, yes, yeah, so I need to get that out there soon. I should done on my call. I forgot about that, but get this information. I don't know if you, hopefully you can see everything that on here because y'all eyes are better than mine, so. Um, but they help you with like money and financial stuff and like a lot of people, especially teenagers nowadays, like big, big people like myself struggle with the money, you must struggle with the money. So if you want to get help and things like that, why well, is it the same damn thing? No, basically, right? Mm. Talk money, it says talk money, it's right there. I know this is a different kind of video that I'm usually giving you guys, but this is all the same company. They do different things. Um, this is in Spanish, though. But this one is for shopping tips back to school. This is so late. This is how you know I'm behind. We still in September, so school just started. My kids started in August. Public schools just started. Back to school tips. I don't know if you see that or not. I sh I I'm so sorry. I should have been done this. Been done this. I feeling i don't know if i was i'm in depression or what i love doing youtube I, you know i just don't like to edit i'm about to do this way i hate to edit hate it hate it hate it, hate it. how to avoid student loan debt and stuff like that so this is another thing that i got how to avoid student loan debt and things like that so you can um I feel like this is a book, so it's not going to be as helpful as we need to do. But um, go on the thing that I told you to. Go on there. And it can provide you the information that you need, okay? Yes. So, other than that, <laughs> they're going to be having some new housing vouchers coming up. I can't tell you exactly what they are as yet. But they're going to be having some new um, housing vouchers coming up. And just keep your eyes out for that. Um, also, EHV vouchers, which is basically the bootleg version of Section 8. Why well, I say that? Because it's not. So Section 8, if you stay poor forever, you can stay in it. But I want to say this um, EHV slash housing Section 8 NYCHA thing. Apparently, I think I have the full, full I'm probably going to do another video about it. But um, you basically, you know, it's not, it's like 10 years, I believe. Maybe after that, they come, you know, I don't know. But it's not as long as regular Section 8. So that's what the problem is with me for that. So. Mm. So. Yeah. So that's kind of the updates. I know this is a different video than I'm used to. I usually don't have paper and stuff like that. I usually have links. Maybe I'll write that link out in the description. Hopefully. Hopefully it's on the paper. If you didn't, sorry. I'm, I'm working on it. Um, but when I, I need to also... When I do these fairs, take pictures and do stuff right away. So if like school thing, when I got it in August would have been great. Now it's kind of useless. Um, so I'm really trying to get up on that. 
So next month is Domestic Violence Month. Guys, my organization, we're going to have a panel. I'm not going to tell you the time. I'm not going to tell you which organization, so you look me up or something like that. Because we don't have the exact date yet, but we do, are trying to do things for Domestic Violence Month. So if you know anybody, activities in New York City, who wants, um, who's doing an event for domestic violence, and I can come and table there, tell me about it, send me an email, send me a DM. I'm definitely happy to come with me and my team. You might have some kids, depending on if it's a Saturday or Sunday. If it's a weekday, I'll be there without kids. <laughs> I mean, other people, because my other colleagues also have kids, so it's like, you know how I go when you're a parent. Um, what else? I'm trying to get everything out in this video, so I got to do separate, you know, a lot of separate videos. Um, I'm probably going to do this, I don't know when this is going to come out, but I'm just going to say it in this video. The EHV voucher, the last day to apply is September 30th, so I think I'm actually going to do a video totally just about that by itself so people have the information and yeah so that's what's going on right now with that anyway guys bye my elbow <laughs>